It was good, BT Gang, and we back with another banger, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in once again. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense. And today, 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 today. Listen, I'm going to start this one off with an apology. So a couple weeks ago, I did a top 10 Alexandria summer fragrance list. And this fragrance didn't make it. And I'm here to apologize. I'm here to say sorry. This fragrance is by far a top 10, maybe a top three, top five summer fragrance from Alexandria House. This one right here is called Alexandria Orchestra. O Orchestra. Orchestra, y'all. Orchestra. So this is a clone of Louis Vuitton Symphony. And we're going to go ahead and go down and talk about the notes of this one. So in this one, you get grapefruit, bergamot, and ginger. Three simple notes, three easy notes. The way to describe this one is, I would say, you know, Lamensity, that's a, that's ginger and that's a grapefruit as, as well, I believe, or some sort of citrus. And Pacific Coast is a little sweet, fresh, citrusy fragrance. Some people think Pacific Coast is too juvenile. Some people think, like me, that the Lamensity is too grown up, too mature. This one, to me, it literally smells like the best of both worlds. You get like this little slice spice and ginger and a little bit of citrus from the Lamensity. And then you get the sweetness and the zestiness from the Pacific Pacific Coast, excuse me. You combine it into one. And this is what you get. Cause this smells sweet. It smells zesty. It smells fresh. It smells extravagant. The grapefruit and, uh, and uh, what's the grapefruit and ginger? It just sort of makes this, I don't know, like this calming, clean, um, elegant, high class type feel but i still feel like a person like me my age could definitely rock this this is not an old man old woman fragrance this does not smell like old money it's it has a life to it it makes you happy it's uplifting and it's just i was really so shocked when i wore this one and i was just like man this stuff is good this stuff is really really good it's, it's one of the most um high priced louis vuitton dna's as well i believe this is going for 400 500 dollars and it sucks because on Alexandria's website, this stuff is now sold out. By the time I realize how good this stuff is, it's sold out. It's always how it goes. So I'm going to have to rock with this for the rest of the summer. This is a five mil decant, so I probably got like maybe three mils left, two and a half mils. So I'm going to have to make this work. But nonetheless, let's get to the stats. So performance, this stuff is seven to eight hours easily, bro. The straight to parfum makes this last a long, long time. Seven to eight hours. I would say you get moderate projection. But for a freshie, you get seven to eight hours with moderate projection. I think that's great because freshies these days, you get four to five, sometimes at the most. These extracted performances is pushing towards the eight hour shifts, nine hours. Eight hours is a full workday shift, y'all. I don't personally need anything, especially a freshie that goes past eight hours. You're going to be in a pool. You're going to be at the beach, you know, so at the, or you can wear this to the gym if you want, whatever you want. You're going to be active. 9 out of 10 when you're wearing this. This can be a work office fragrance, an everyday signature scent type fragrance, but I feel like it stands out more in the in the beach and just active everyday scenario type thing, scenario. So I love this stuff. It smells like so good. Out of my Alexandria haul from like four months ago, I think this one shocked me the most. Obviously, I went ahead and I bought a full bottle of Pacific Coast and I still love this stuff. This stuff smells, this stuff smells amazing, but by far, this should have been included in the list, man. This stuff smells amazing. If you're thinking about getting this, if you can find it anywhere, obviously it's not on the website right now, but if you can find it on eBay or Macari or anywhere, get your hands on this for a good price. I definitely say it's worth it because you're not going to get your, like, you're not going to get your hands on a better dupe than this. I know Montaigne just dropped one, but the performance and the quality and you paying five hundred dollars for the OG. Remember that. Keep that in mind. But you paying a hundred dollars for a hundred mils of this. So, like, it, it just the value and bang for your buck is really always there. That's why when people always, you know, say Alexandria is expensive, I do say yeah. Sometimes when you consider it against like the Latafas and the Mason Alhambras, they can seem expensive because you can get a hundred mil Latafa for twenty five thirty dollars, but you're getting a hundred dollars of this for $100, 100 mil, this for $100. But when it comes down to the quality and the closeness and the longevity of all the extracted parfums that Alexandria provides, I think it's very, very well justified. I think this is the way to go. I think Alexandria fragrances, you should splurge on Alexandria fragrances if it's your favorite DNA and you want a lot of it and you want 100 mil. Otherwise, I say, you know, go for the Latavas and Alhambras, but I still stand by Alexandria being the best clone house, man. I know I dropped the Montaigne video, and I was going crazy. And I got another Montaigne haul coming in soon. But 
I can't switch up on Alexandria after one haul. You feel me? So this right here, this smells like a 10 out of 10. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. This smells great. This stuff, I just, I wish I could have got a full bottle of this. Oh man, and completely unisex as well. Actually, you know, slightly more feminine, but to me right down the middle, I just know a lot of, a lot of guys are gonna be like, this is kind of sweet. This is kind of zesty, but this is a unisex for me. It smells great. I love it. I just, I feel so bad because I don't have, this is all I have. Like, I wish, I wish I had more, but y'all let me know what y'all think of this DNA down below. Um, if y'all have it, if y'all have the dupe, y'all have any other dupes, let me know. If y'all smelled it, what y'all thoughts on it. Also, I do think, um, yeah, like I said, Montaigne is dropping a dupe on this, so I might cop that one as well and see how it uh, stacks up against this one because I do need a full bottle of this DNA somehow, some way, man. I might have to go behind Alexandria's back, man. But I definitely appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Peace.